Hello friends, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be looking at a new concept called partial differences. So if you remember a little bit ago, we did something called partial sums when we were breaking down both of our numbers by their place value values. And then we were adding them all up in order to find our complete sum at the end. However, this is gonna change it up a little bit because when we're thinking about differences, Differences, we're going to be focusing on the operation of subtraction. Because when you think about the answer to a subtraction problem, it is called a difference. So we're not going to be breaking down both. We're going to be breaking down what we are subtracting from my larger number. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if I want to do 26, I'm thinking about what's my value for my two tens? What's my value for my six ones? So if I'm at two tens, it's going to be 10, 20. So that is my two tens. My six ones is going to be exactly what it is. You are just counting them by ones. It is going to be a six. However, as you see, I also have an additional breakdown for my ones here. And if you remember a little bit ago, when we were just starting with sub subtraction techniques, we had a two digit minus a one digit, and we took that single digit number and we broke it down into a specific combination. And that combination had a number that matched what was in the ones place of my two digit number. And it was gonna help me bring it down to a 10. So it was gonna change that ones place into a zero. So here, what I have, I want to break down my six into a combination, but it has to have a number that matches with four. So we definitely have a combination that you can add to make a six that has a four in it. So if you need to figure it out, we could simply count on four and how many more to make six? Five, six. That's all you need to. So my combination for that would be four and two. So now what I want to do, I want to go ahead and start the subtraction process. So if I'm at 54, I want to start with my tens. I'm going to start taking away my tens. So I want to take away my 20. And I have my chart here as just an extra little added bonus to kind of help and guide me through these mental math strategies. So I'm going um, for the correct answer here. So I'm at 54 and I want to take away 20. So 54, I'm taking away two tens. One, two, where am I at? 34. So that's going to be my answer. However, I am not done because I still need to go ahead and subtract those numbers from my ones place. So I'm going to go where I left off, which is going to be 34. 34 take away four, because remember, that's the one that matches, and it's going to change it from a 34 into a 30. So to just to double check yourself, if I'm at 34 and I want to take away four, one, two, three, four, there's my 30. Now, still not done, picking up where I left off, I'm at 30 and I want to take away two, I could easily count back. I could say 29, 28, and 30 minus two is going to be 28. Just to double check my work, if I'm at 30, I want to take away two more. One, two, there I'm at 28. So 28 is going to be my difference for this particular number sentence. Now, could we have done... 34, and we could have just taken away that six? Absolutely. So we could have been at 34 and taken away one, two, three, four, five, six. It would have taken us right to 28 as well. I usually do the extra breakdown so you have more of that mental math technique to hone in on a little bit. So hold tight. We are going to do another example. Okay, and we're back. So now we're at 61 minus 47. I just want to jump right into it and start breaking down my 47. So if I have my four tens, that's going to be equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm looking at a 40 here. 
If I'm looking at seven ones, you know that pretty much stays the same, counting by ones up to seven. That's where we have a 40 and a seven. Now I want to break down my seven even more because I want something that's going to match my one here. So I can do one with what other number to make that combination of seven. So if I'm thinking about it, I'm putting one in my brain, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm looking at a six. So one and six is going to give me that, that combination of seven. So now what I want to do, I'm going to jump right in and start subtracting. So 61, I want to take away that 40. So let me go to my chart for, for help, because just in case. There might be too much to jump in my brain right now. I might need a little more practice. So if I'm at 61 and I want to count up four hops or four tens, one, two, three, four. So now I'm going to be at 21. But I'm not done. This is where I left off. I want to start taking away that combination of seven that I made. So if I'm at 21, I want to take away that one because remember, they match. It wants to bring me to that 10. So it's not going to be a 21 anymore. It's going to be a 20. So now, bringing it back, 20. That's where I left off. I still want to take away that six. Might be a little bit easier for me to do mental math here. It was very easy for me to do mental math here because I was only taking away one. Now I need to take away six. Hey, maybe let's go to the chart. That might help us out a little bit more. So 20, take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here I am at a 14. That is what is going to be my final difference there. That is what's going to be my final answer. Okay, hold tight. Let's just do one more example. Okay, and we're back. So now I'm looking at 74 minus 28. So let's jump right into it. We're going to start breaking it down. 28, I want to look at the values of each one of those numbers. Two tens. 10, 20, eight ones, just exactly what it is. It's going to be an eight. So now what I want to do, I want to break down that one place a little bit more. I want it to match what I have here in my ones place, which is going to be a four. That should be an easy peasy because this is bringing it back to some doubles. So if you know your doubles facts, four plus four is going to be eight. So that's going to be the correct combination that I could use here because it matches. So let's go ahead. I want to go ahead and start my subtraction. So I'm going to do 74 and I want to take away 20. Let's go ahead and think about our chart. If I'm at 74, I want to take away two tens, 10, 20. Now I'm at 54. Not done yet. I'm just stopping over here for a quick second. So now I want to go to 54 minus 4. That extra strategy, that extra breakdown brings my 54 into a 10. So it's going to be a 50 now. So, so you could see if I'm at a 54, I want to take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my 50. And now... 50 minus my last four here. So I could easily count that back or I could use my chart as a helper. One, two, three, four. I'm ending on 46. That is what's going to be my final difference there. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on partial differences. I encourage you to do some extra practice at home, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Have a great day, everybody.